Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius for the month of February. This is about uh, mid-month, I would say. February mid-month could resonate at any time. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'll start with this deck. We're going to get one of these, one of these, and we're going to use that one. Um, I was sitting here before I started your reading and thinking, you know, getting ready to do your reading. And, um, you know, I heard, you know, you're on the right path. You're on the right path. Just keep going. Just keep going. You're on the right path. That was for you. I was thinking about you. I was thinking about, I was doing my little prayer, whatever. And, uh, so anyway, yeah, you guys are on the right path. This is the judgment card. This is an awakening. And you know what else I heard? Was you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening. You're going through some sort of spiritual healing. Healing is what I heard. So, you know, I should just say everything I hear, right? Anyhow, you guys are... Are. That's what's going on. You're becoming more aware of, of uh, who you are, where you're going, what you're doing, the whole nine yards. Um, it's like you've had some sort of epiphany. It's like you've woken up. That's what this is. This is you've woken up. Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? Yeah, it's like you, you, yeah, the truth. You've heard the truth. You've, you know the truth. You accept the truth, right? You see it. You're seeing something very, very clearly. Oh my gosh, it's like, this is like, you are like the third one for this segment to get this card. Um, Taurus and Virgo, I believe, got it. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with one of them. Um, this is fantastic. I mean, this is about a union. Maybe you're seeing the truth about a union. Now, union can be many different things. Union doesn't have to be with a human. I mean, it does, but... Um, let me rephrase this. This could be with a partnership, okay? Union is two entities, okay? So this could be you and work. This could be you and a person. This could be you and something, okay? So, yeah. The truth about a partnership is what this is. What do we got for Sagittarius? Whatever's going on this month, it definitely has something to do with some sort of partnership. Put it that way. Maybe you're coming into a new union with somebody. Or you're getting some sort of awakening about somebody. You know, it can go either way, right? Hmm. Some of you may be getting out of a union. You may be getting out of a partnership. I mean, we have the two of cups reversed, and there's some unhappiness here. You know, maybe there's two people that are living under the same roof that can't do it anymore. I don't know. It doesn't have to be, you know, really romantic. It could be roommates, <laughs> you know. That's definitely some sort of partnership. I mean, I'm not sure where that is coming from, but for some of you, there could be some sort of situation of living, and I don't know where this is coming from. Boy, they're talking to me today like crazy. Um, I think there's some sort of partnership, with like uh, whether it's roommates or relationship, whatever, that isn't working out. 
it's not a positive situation there's negative energy there and you've tried to stick it out I think whatever this is whether the, whatever partnership this is there's a situation where you've done all that you can do and you, it's like you don't want to give up but you're <clears throat> very close very very close to giving up on this situation whatever it is um, maybe it's stable and secure I don't know but there's not a lot of uh, compatibility there whatever this is it's like there's not a lot of emotional fulfillment. It may pay or it may provide the roof or whatever, but that's all it does, whatever that is. Um, and you may feel like I'd be better off on my own. This is this is too much for me. But you may fear being alone. You know, maybe you don't want to be alone, whatever. Um, this is um, maybe you need time alone to heal from situation, to get your fire back, you know. Maybe you need to be alone. I don't know. It looks like you, maybe you're being put down by another person. Maybe somebody else is bringing you down. You know, they're stealing, they're definitely stealing your energy. It's like you, you it's like you just want to, there's too much. Maybe there's fighting. Maybe there's, it's like a constant battle wherever you're at. Um. Yeah, and I think that for some of you, it's like you're looking for something more emotionally fulfilling. You're looking for something more happy. You know, you want, you just want to, <laughs> you want things to be peaceful. And it looks like you're probably going to have to probably cut somebody out. That's what it looks like to me. I think that you could be dealing with somebody that is, um, harsh or you need to be harsh you know you need it whether this is you that needs to do this or you're dealing with this person it's like you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have a lot of emotion doesn't show a lot of emotion and perhaps this is the energy you need to take on you need to be logical here whoever you're dealing with whether you know this could go both ways there it's like they're not emotionally invested and I think that you're looking for something more Mm -mm. friendly I just feel like you're not in a friendly situation where you need to be and I think that you're going to have to make probably a judgment call okay you're probably going to have to make a judgment call in regards to what is best for you you know what is best for you whoever you're dealing with is thinking about what's best for them so maybe you need to you know reciprocate <laughs> whatever that means um you know, you need to put yourself first. You need to love yourself. You need to nurture yourself. You need to give yourself some tender love and care. You know, I just feel like you need to take on this energy of both of these women. And you need to, you need to stand up for yourself. You need to love yourself enough to say, you know what? No more. Whatever this is. I mean, you need to stand up for yourself. You need to, you need to nurture yourself. And I think that that's what's going on here is that you know, you've been put down by by a somebody that has stolen your energy and now you have to do something about it. And I think that you're probably in the process of making some sort of decision based on what your heart wants, whatever that means. But um, I do see on another note that you could be receiving some emotional support or even a new opportunity for love I mean you could be you could be maybe you have this new opportunity waiting for you and you have to make some sort of decision as to what if you're gonna give up on a situation that is no longer you know it's just a constant battle anyhow um, the overall outcome is the Queen of Cups this is this is self-love. I know this is self-love. I know that it is. Healing. Healing. I mean, I think you're going to have to be aggressive here. You're going to have to speak up for yourself. Yeah, 
yeah, I think you need to take a break from a situation. I think whoever you're dealing with is causing a lot of uh, mental exhaustion, perhaps. Whatever you're dealing with, it's exhausting. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And it's like, I think that you just... You know, you have some dreams here that you want to follow. You want happiness. You want, you don't want to deal with this fight anymore. It just seems like you've been in some sort of battle or something. And you've stuck it out all that you can. And it's like, I want something more emotional, fu emotionally fulfilling. And you've been abused. This is abuse. The King of Swords in reverse, this is abuse. It's like, this is mental, verbal, neglect, whatever. This is some sort of abuse. It's like, I can't, no. I don't want this. And now you have to make that decision. I thought that you have to make that painful, de stressful decision to turn your back on something that you probably you did everything you could to make it work out. So whatever this is, I feel like you guys are deciding to let something go. You're just going to let go. It's like you're not, you know you can't save it. You don't want to, and you're not going to even hold on to it anymore. It's like, no, just take it. Just take it. I don't want this anymore. I feel like you guys are just turning your back on something that. It's a partnership. You see, it's a two. You're turning your back on a partnership that just isn't working out. It's taken a lot of your energy. It has. It's like, now I just need to heal. Seriously, healing is near needed. I need to heal. I need to recuperate. Seriously, somebody needs to recuperate from an abusive situation. I'm sorry, but that is exactly what this is. And I feel like it was stable or something. It provided financially, but that's it. Yeah, it's like you can't delay it anymore. It's a partnership again, another two. I think there's been a lot of fear of change, a lot of fear of can I do this on my own or can I start over, you know? And, and right now it's like you've been staying where it's safe. And now it's like you know that you have to make this decision to step outside of your comfort zone and step out of this safety zone. Um, yeah, because I feel like you're being manipulated, you're being lied to, you're being cheated, you, you're dealing with somebody or some partnership where there's just, there's hidden agendas here. And this person, whoever it is, or these people, or whatever you're partnered with, they definitely got some tricks up their sleeve, okay? They do. It's a very deceptive situation. So, and I feel like you're looking for more. I mean, you're not getting any emotional fulfillment here. And I think there's a lot of emotions here. There's probably some anger because it's just, it's so frustrating. It is frustrating. And I feel like, you, oh my God, you guys, it's like you've lacked ambition. You lack drive. This person totally, totally, totally steals your energy it, it, or this partnership, whatever it is. This is definitely about a partnership where it's like, you're being controlled, you're being manipulated, it's like you've lost your concentration, you've lost your focus, you've lost your desire, and it's because this person has stolen your energy, so I don't know, I feel like you guys are in a shitty situation, could be with a water sign, could be with an air sign, could be with an earth sign, could be with another fire sign, could be with anybody, you know, it's just not compatible, and I, I mean, we have all these twos here, it's definitely about a partnership that's not compatible, and it's like, I want more. I want more. I want love. I want kindness. I want some place that is going to make me happy. And I, you're definitely in an incompatible situation. There's absolutely no doubt about it. There's too much conflict there. There is. There is. I mean, it's just, there's a lot of back and there's a lot of indecision here. It's like you can't win anyway. You know, I don't know why you're so indecisive about this if there's no emotional fulfillment. I mean, if you don't love it, don't do it. I'm sorry. I can't. 
You know, they've been talking to me all day. Whatever tone comes out, comes out. I'm sorry. This, this is this is spirit talking. So, you know, I love you guys. I really, really do. I love Sagittarius. It's right at the top of my list. So, I mean, don't think that it's against you. Um, you guys are the old souls of the Zodiac, as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow. You guys are in an incompatible situation that you need to get away from. You're headed in the right direction. You're on the right path. Keep going. Don't look back. Don't look back. You know what you need to do. I don't have to tell you. Because you already know the truth. You're wide awake. Head towards emotional fulfillment. We're going to get you one of these. Sagittarius. Maybe leaving a partnership, whatever that partnership is. Holy shit. So far, you're the first one of this segment to get one of these cards. Rejuvenating rain. Clear the past. Heal the present. Physical and emotional healing is occurring. We started this reading out with you're going through a spiritual healing. I tell you what, they've been talking to me all day. Physical and emotional healing is occurring. There is a cleansing and a clearing of old emotional wounds. And even a release of past life limitations is happening. All is forgiven. Absolve yourself. Forgive others. Their transgressions against you. It's time to let it all go. In order for new growth to occur... The old must be cleared away. This card indicates a time of clearing out what doesn't serve and support you. Remember? I said you got to stick up for yourself. It can also indicate any kind of clearing, any kind of cleansing. This is also a great time to go on a cleansing fast to clear out your body while old emotions and challenges are clearing out of your energy field. Use water for cleansing your energy field. Stand in a cold shower, swim in the sea, or run in the rain. You know, it's kind of funny because it also says about purifying. It says... Uh, Use the rain to purify and cleanse yourself, yourself in the deepest way. Now, if you think about white, and I was going to mention it, and I should have, about I, these roses. For some reason, I put, gave you guys the bunch of roses, and um, white is about purity. And I was going to mention it. I thought about it when I was sitting here earlier. It's about purity. It's about being going back to, I was thinking innocence, back to your pure, being pure again. But I didn't know how to word that, so I didn't say it. It's time to cleanse out the old. Good luck, Sagittarius. That's where, and you're headed in the right direction. You already know the truth. You already know. You already know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. Remember it said, all is forgiven. Follow your heart at this time. Good luck.